Hey everyone, just got this new Rabiconda street bike tire changer I wanted to share with you. If you change your own tires, especially adventure bike tires, this is an absolute must have. Now you're gonna get just about everything you need in the kit. And the reason I say just about everything, when you order their main kit, I believe it only comes with one drop down center tool. For the BMW GS and other really tight tires, you're gonna want two of these, so be sure to order an extra. It comes with a stepped bushing. Depending on your bike, make sure that this is gonna fit your axle size. They do have others available that you may need to order depending on what bike you have. And then finally, another extra I had to order with the kit was <clears throat> a special duck head for the BMW GS tires. And to swap these out, all you do is turn this thumb screw, pull this one off, and put the other duck head on. And this is gonna be for most of your tires. So now they're gonna give you some bead grease and a bead grease brush. I personally use Dawn dish detergent and water and I tried it with that and it works very well. You can use the bead grease. Obviously it's gonna be less abrasive on your plastic duck head parts, but if you do run out of it, just to let you know, the old fashioned trick of Dawn dish detergent and water will work. And then they give you a really nice manual. And this is actually really legit. You get color coded instructions on putting it together and then very detailed instructions on how to use the machine. So a really nice addition there. And then when you're all done, you get a nice carry bag that the whole machine folds up into. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Just like any tire change, first thing you wanna do is start off with uh, taking the guts out of your valve stem and draining the air. Once you have all the air drained, go ahead and put your tire on the machine. And you're gonna have a couple magnetic pieces here. And these are good strong magnets. And you're gonna slide these up and down to where you need them, to where they rest right on the edge of the wheel. Okay, the next thing we have to do is get our bead breaker set up to our wheel size, and that's gonna be achieved just by loosening this turn handle here. And this will move up and down to where we need it. And we want this right on the edge of the rubber. Now to minimize free play on the wheel, go ahead and place your stepped pushing adapter in here. And again, you may need to order a different one depending on the size of your wheel. Now you'll notice when you're breaking a bead and stuff, sometimes that'll pop out of there and the wheel gets a little loose. It's not a big deal, but for the folks at Rabaconda, I would suggest making another one that goes down on here and maybe has a quarter turn handle to lock that down in. Something that'll just snug up against this and that would lock that in place. But so now we're ready to break our bead. Just turn it a couple times, break this about four different places around there. Make sure it's all the way off. Go ahead and spin a tire around and do the other side. Okay, once we've achieved that, we're ready to put on our duck head. We're gonna slide this down over there. And again, you have a little quick turn knob on, this, on the side here. We're gonna use that to put the duck head over the lip of the wheel. And you may need to use the bead breaker to push the rubber in to get this set. Once you have that set where you need to go ahead and tighten down that screw. Okay, now we wanna move the duck head down to about the six o'clock position. That's where we're gonna be starting from. And then we want our valve stem, especially if you have a speed sensor or TPMS sensor in there, we want that at about seven o'clock because the machine's gonna go this way. And so then we won't be running over our sensor or risking any damage to that. Now I do need to back up one minute here. Before we slide the duck head down to the six o'clock, this is where you would put in your stopper pin, I'm gonna call it, um, if you had a cast wheel. There's holes in the frame back here, and this would just slide right in there, and the cast wheel would hit up against it, for lack of a better term, and keep it from rotating. But because we have a spoked wheel, we're not gonna be utilizing this. We're gonna be using a little ratchet strap they include with you, and I'm gonna show you that here. Now I have to say, I was a little skeptical when they told me about this, but it does work very well and causes zero damage to your wheel. You're just gonna feed the strap right around one spoke. And then we're gonna wrap it around the bottom of the machine. I'll show you that from the other side. So just around one spoke at the very base of that spoke. So we'll just feed the strap under the machine here. And just snug that down. 
that will keep the tire from rotating as we crank the machine around. At this point in the process, you're going to apply your bead grease to your duck head and your wheel. Or like I said, I will opt for my soapy water. The bead grease does work a lot better. And these are wearable parts, these duck heads, so you can get um, replacements when these wear down, if they wear down. So once you're done there, we're going to use the bead breaker to push down on the tire up top while we put our spoon in here and pull the tire up over the back side of the duck head and then lock it in back here. So right here's a little spot that the uh, spoon's going to lock into. Now's probably a good time to mention they do give you this plastic cover that you can put over the spoon if you don't want to risk any scratches or anything to your wheel. I did use this prior. It makes it a little thicker and a little more difficult to get in there, but you can use it if you choose. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and remove the handle from up here. And this is just a like a quarter turn. You'll notice here it has a groove cut in it that lines up with a screw in the handle so you turn it in a twist to keep it from falling out. But so once we remove that, we're going to use that for down here on our ratcheting machine. We're going to come about to the 9 o'clock position, and we're going to hold our spoon because once this gets started, we can go ahead and pull that out. So there we have our first time. There's no movie magic here. I am a novice at this. It's probably the third time I've used this machine. And I am getting quicker with every one. I could definitely see where you'd have this done in just a few minutes once you're practiced. So now, pull the tire up, and we're going to use a spoon to pull the back side of the tire up over the duck head, just like we did the front side. Go ahead and apply your bead grease to this new wheel, or your soapy water, whichever route you're going. Make sure you pay attention to the orientation of the tire. Make sure you're putting it on the correct way. Okay, with our new tire all lubed up, make sure that your duck head's at the 12 o'clock position. And we're going to put this on now so that the duck head is outside the rubber. And I'll show you that here in a second, how we want this to go. Just like that there. And I know this is really dark and I apologize. Again, they give you really great directions. Right there is a, probably a better picture of what I'm trying to show you. Now with that position over the duck head, we're going to push as much of the tire on as we can on that side. And then we'll go ahead and use the tool to cover the rest. Okay, we're going to repeat that procedure for the other side of the tire now. Go ahead and put your bead grease on this side. Now we're going to be using the drop center tools, and they're not necessary for every tire, but they're definitely necessary on this BMW. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to position our duck head at the 12 o'clock and same process as before. Get the tire behind the duck head there just like that. And now with these drop center tools, you see this handle pulls out and opens up that channel. And we're going to lock this onto the rim and use it to push the rubber down in to keep the rubber at the drop center of the wheel. If you don't have these tools, you can use blocks of wooden things and without them, the tire is just going to keep popping up on one side as you're trying to put it in. So we're going to put one there. We're going to start working this around. Now sometimes I found it necessary to use two of these, this time I was able to do it with one holding it in position. You just saw how fast that was to mount a BMW GS cross spoked wheel, arguably one of the hardest tires to mount and balance on your own. So now to get the duck head out of here, use the bead breaker to push the rubber down. And then we can remove that. So there you have it. Rabaconda's Street Bike Tire Changer. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the video with a like, subscribe to the channel. Always more motorcycle stuff coming. So if you're interested in purchasing this, go to rabaconda.com. They do have warehouses in the US. I had this in like two to three days. I was highly impressed with how fast it arrived. 
Um, any issues you have or questions, they will respond to your emails in a timely manner. So if you're not sure what adapters you might need or other parts, um, be sure to throw them an email or give them a call and make sure you get all set up. Again, you'll need the special duct head, you'll need um, the ratchet strap, an extra drop center tool. Again, the BMW GS cross spoked wheel is one of the most difficult to do. Uh, that's why I made a video on this, but this machine will work on Harley tires, spoke tires, tube, tubeless, whatever you have, you can do it with this machine. Uh, so I really appreciate you watching and thank you for your support. Be sure to let them know you saw it on Redneck Tech. Thanks again. tip before we part ways if you find yourself having a hard time getting your tire to seat the bead on the rim don't forget the age-old ratchet strap trick go ahead and put a ratchet strap around the center of the tire and crank it down that will push the rubber out to the sides and prevent air from escaping and you can get that tire to seat if you're still having issues go ahead and use your soapy dish detergent and wipe it down around the bead and around the valve stem and see where your issue is it may not be the lip maybe you have an obstruction or a burr or maybe your valve stem is leaking Thanks again for watching.